Dang it! Eric! No. We forgot to shoot the intro for this video. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, what are we gonna tell him? Well, I guess we're just gonna tell him that Eric pulled me in and showed me five wheels and we sat down and talked about them. All right, Jealous, now that I got uh, five minutes of your time, I'm gonna grab uh, one of these wheels over here, one of the five, and we are gonna get your input on it. All right, that's gonna stay there? That's gonna stay there, Okay. <laughs> believe it or not. All right, we have the first wheel here of the five. It is the 3SDM 0.06. Just to kick it off right away, I really like the spoke design on this. I also really think the finish is like flawless. I think it's, it's pretty slick. I think when the light shines it right, it, uh, Looks good. What do you think? What do you think, Jels? Yeah, I'd have to totally agree with you. It's one of the more different finishes that we've seen out of a lot of the wheels. Usually you just have like either your straight like polished finish, your straight chrome finish, or like a straight painted finish. 3SCM kind of went outside of the box here where the front of it has like a machined look to it almost. And then you have like your inlays here that have like your silver powder coated or your silver painted surface on there. I think they call that the, what do they call that? The silver cut? Yeah, silver cut. So yeah, I really love that finish on there as well. Um, what's really cool about these uh, 0.062 is that they actually are a true directional wheel. So for a pretty moderate price point on these, you can get a directional wheel. Yeah. <laughs> the nice thing too about this wheel is with how classy it looks, um, you would think this costs you a pretty, pretty heavy penny. This actually is moderately expensive. Honestly, for the wheel that you're getting, I think it's, I think it's a perfect price point. And I think you know, if you save your, if you save your pennies, you can, uh, you can afford something, something flashy like this. Uh, also, with this wheel, it does come in an 18-inch and 19-inch diameter. It also has a five-lug bolt pattern. So if you guys want to get any more info and see if this fits your ride, just click the link below. We got more, uh, we got more information for that. All right, Jels. Now that we wrapped up this wheel, I'm gonna go grab another one off the wall. All right, cool. All right, so now we got the NKT6S here in front of us. This comes in a matte black, a matte silver, and a gold finish. Uh, 17 and 18 inch diameters. It is a pretty lightweight wheel. It is um, what NK considers their matte technology. So basically what that means is, is a Flow Forge wheel. Um, there's a lot, as we know, there's a lot of names out there for it. Uh, Rotary Forge, Flow Forge, Flow Form. Um, NK considers this to be their matte technology. So as we can see, a pretty simple six spoke design, as we know, looks good on a lot of different vehicles. Um, Eric? Um, obviously you can tell that this kind of has like different characteristics of other wheels that you may think are popular or whatnot, but I mean, this is NK's one of more more popular wheels that they do sell of. And I think I think it's clean, it's simple, you know? I like the finish on it, black uh, would look good maybe on a, like a slam Mazda or something, I don't know. <laughs> If you'd like to check out more information on this wheel, again, click down in the comment section below. We'll have a link to it. See if this is the right wheel for you. All right, so uh, I'm gonna grab the third wheel. All right, number three out of five. And uh, let's see what we got. <laughs> And uh, now we have our third wheel, which is the ESM 015. Now, what this wheel was super cool is it does have the gold rivets and that white finish, almost multi-spoke with that step lip and all that good stuff. People might get upset because they would say that this does have the look of you know, other models, other popular wheel brands that you've seen in the past. I think with the price that's on this wheel, I think it's clean. I think that it comes in a wide amount of sizes. And uh, I think if you like it, then this is the wheel for you. Giles, what do you think, man? This wheel, I wouldn't run on anything of mine just because um, it, it just wouldn't fit for it. it it's, it's meant Good. for, it's meant for like the older um, cars. It's meant for like your older Civics. It's meant for your, your uh, older Euro cars. Stuff that would run usually like a smaller wheel like this. I know they do make up to an 18 and I believe a 19 on this one too. Um, but I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but like you said, yeah. Uh, people, I think people, you know, they look at this and they're like, oh man, that's a, that's a cheap knockoff wheel. But it's like, you gotta start somewhere, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm 16, I got a freaking Honda Civic hatch and I got my fresh uh, subway paycheck and I'm gonna go buy some freaking ESMs. Tell me that the guy that did buy these wheels that was probably 17 or whatever and got these didn't feel like the coolest kid on the block. I mean, I, I get that everybody, like you, like we said before, everybody's got a different budget, but I do think for the most part, this is a cool design and anybody can take pride in rocking these wheels. All right, so uh, now that we closed out the ESM wheel, we're gonna go ahead and get, go to our four, fourth one? Yep. Four out of five, so let's go. Let's do it. All right, so here it looks like we have the Koenig Ampliform. I friggin' love this wheel. You will see this on almost any JDM car out there. 
but it, it would look good on a lot of vehicles, but you would see them on a lot of like Japanese cars. This wheel comes in a variety of different sizes, um, 17, 18 inch uh, diameters, even up to your 19 and 20 inch diameters. So there's a lot of different sizes for this, a lot of different widths. Uh, they come with a bunch of different offsets, even getting into the lower offsets. So you can really get that concave look. You can really get the fitment that you're looking for, push the wheel out towards the fender a little more. And of course it's a flow form wheel. So how can you not love it? Yeah, I think the spoke design on it is so like just wild and gnarly how it's so sporadic i do think that's very cool i like the finish on it too as well you mm -hmm. know i'm i imagine what color uh, they come in a they come in the bronze and then i think it comes in a dark metallic graphite is the other color this one comes in sweet yeah man it definitely it, it uh i now see compared to the last wheel i would if i had the right ball pattern the right size mm -hmm. i would rock this on my mazda koenig definitely went the right uh, direction with this wheel um, overall just a fantastic looking wheel yeah just roll it to me that, that's great <laughs> now and here we've got the fifth wheel. As we have Mario rolling it in the frame here. Oh. Might want to stop it before we knock the Koenig off the stand. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Is this, uh, it's upside down. Oh. It's Motegi, not Wotegi. Wotegi. All right, and now we have our fifth wheel, which is the Motegi MR137. What's cool about this is, is that we do have a flat face design wheel. Um, right off the bat, I do want to add that it does have the Motegi um, M logo in, uh, engraved into the, the wheel, which is actually, you know, when you're paying attention to details, pretty cool. Now it does come in a 17 and 18 inch diameter. It does have this cool retro step lip. Uh, kind of design here for uh, the most part they, they did a pretty cool job on it and they kind of stretched it out and brought it out a little bit kind of gave it a little bit more of a cooler looking lip on that uh, lastly I want to add that it does it only comes in two colors which is a satin black and a silver color which I mean for the most part is pretty simplistic um, but uh, I personally would like more maybe like a gloss black color but uh, I think for what Motegi has got going for all the other wheels that they have I think that it's you know pretty simplistic two colors mm -hmm. to choose from but I mean other than that I mean what do you think of the wheel for the most part I think the wheel is a very performance oriented wheel. Um, honestly, just by looking at this thing, it looks like a race wheel. It looks like something you would see on a track car. It looks like, you know, it's very minimalistic, but it's got styling to it as well. It's not just a basic wheel or anything like that. It's got, like you said, it's got the Motegi engraved in there. It does have a style to it. Like you said, we got this like two piece mimic look going on here. Um, so like the, the face itself is actually um, raised up from where the lip starts here, which is different I haven't really seen, but I'm starting to see it a little more, especially um, even with like the ESMs that we were looking at. I know a lot of those kind of are doing the same thing. But yeah, it looks like a very performance um, oriented wheel and I really like it. Oh, absolutely. I thought that was really cool. Kind of looks like a little moat right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up. If you guys want to see any specific wheels in the next episode, comment down and below. Uh, also too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm Eric from Fitment Industries and Dell's from Fitment Industries. And uh, we're out, man. Oh, oh shit.